This is my Aunt Lou. She, uh, she looked out for me all the time. She died almost 24 years ago, almost a quarter century ago. And uh, I always love her. I always miss her. I respect her. And even after she died, she, I knew she was looking out for me. Uh, her and I were very close. When I was uh, 19, after I got out of my uh, boarding school and, you know, I didn't have a relationship with my parents and I didn't uh, really have anyone to go to. I remember I was sick in the hospital with pneumonia in Berkshire Medical Center in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. And uh, I had no one that I could talk to besides my sister and my aunt. And my Aunt Lou would always talk to me. And uh, she was always very special to me. She helped me through some very, very challenging times in my life. And I try as much as I can to come and pay my respects. And I think it's important. Over here, up top, that's my grandma and grandpa Booker. And uh, they too were very, very special to me. My grandpa <laughs> used to look at the girls through his binoculars, but he would always say he's birds wa bird watching. <laughs> And my grandma was just an awesome lady too. And uh, I, I'm so grateful to have those people during that time in my life. It was very sad when we lost them, but their teachings are always with me. And I think it's really important that we take the teachings that we, the lessons that we learn from our older generation of people and take them with us. You know, my aunt, I was 19 or 20, maybe 21, let's see, 97. So I was 22 years old. And my windshield wipers stopped working on my car and I needed to, to get new windshield wipers. And um, I was really hard up on money at the time. And I remember going to a car dealership and stealing the windshield wipers so I could put them on my car. And just as I leaned over and started looking for the little clip to take it off, I got this kick in the stomach, Ugh, this pain. And the first thing I thought of was my aunt, and it was my aunt kicking my ass and saying, Joey, you're better than that. Don't do it. And uh, I knew right then and there that that was her that, that, that kicked me and taught me, you know, told me not to do that shit. And it didn't stop me, unfortunately. I, I did a lot of stupid shit in my life. But I know that was her talking to me. And I try to live life right now um, in a way that I would make them proud. You know, I, want, I know that they're up there. I know that they see me. I know that they, they're with me. And so when I'm doing stuff, um, I know they're watching. And so I want to make them proud these days because a, a lot of my years, I did the opposite. I didn't make anybody proud. I was, uh, I was a real jerk to a lot of people, did a lot of really crappy things, things that I'm not proud of, but those things are what helped shape me. But thank God um, and thank all those people that had positive influences in my life during my development uh, to help change some of those things around because I'm a much better person today. I'm a good dad. I'm a great dad. Uh, I'm a, a great business owner. I'm a great employer. I'm a great partner. I'm a good, I, I'm, I'm great at a lot of things. And uh, I'm, I'm still really shitty at a lot of things, but there are some things that I've, I've never thought in a million years that I'd be good at, and I am good today. And I like to give, and uh, I like to show my respects. Even though those people haven't been around for a lot of years, those people are very, very, very special and very important to me. Anyway. Pay respects. Go to, the, go to the cemetery if your parents aren't around or your relatives. Go pay your respects. Those people, um, they're lonely. So go, go hang out with them for a little bit. Anyway, have a great day. Love you.